If you're watching this, welcome back to the replay coming to you live from Horseshoe Curve, Altoona, Pennsylvania. As long as the signal does cooperate, we'll be streaming live for a little bit, hopefully catching some train activity. Hopefully this is going to work. Don't know how good quality is going to be. If it's not up to par, I do apologize. <clears throat> All right, so notifications went out. Looks like Jason is here. Lisa, net official. Justin's here too. Welcome, guys. Hi, Casey. Hi, Laura. There's Matt. Hi, Kristen. Just talked to a few of you last night. Christine, Frederick. Lisa, hello. Welcome to Horseshoe Curve, guys. Hi, Rapids, Pamela, Ryan K., Chris, Vidar, Christopher C., Adam T., good morning. Good morning, Jeannie. Ginny, sorry about that. It's a cold, blustery morning here on top of Horseshoe Curve, and the best part is we have it all to ourselves. There's no one here but us, myself and RJ. We just arrived here, paid our admission, hiked up the hundred and some steps, caught my breath, and now I'm live. Conrail fan, hello. Hey, Renee. Hi, Wendy. Hey, Amanda. So while we're waiting for some trains, I'm going to give you like a little brief tour up here. I have done a full video up here earlier this year, but I'm hoping that the live stream does work. Let me know how quality is so far. Hopefully it's clear enough and not pixelated. And if it does cut out, I do apologize. It's kind of desolate up here. <clears throat> if you guys do go to the Horseshoe Curve live stream through Virtual Rail Fan, that's a stream that runs 24-7. The webcam is off to my right. Depending on which direction it's facing, you may be able to see us here. The white stuff on the ground, that's baby powder. They make it smell nice and fresh up here. So I'm going to do a little bit of walking around. We'll see how the stream performs. It's not afternoon yet, Jacqueline. Don't be trying to rush the day. There's the Pennsylvania 7048. Hey, Dan. Dan, we're here by ourselves. So whenever you want to come up, you're welcome to come. We're pretty much the only car in the parking lot. <clears throat> That's better. Good late morning. Central California watching. It's definitely morning time there. So on our way here to the curb, we did see a train passing by. There's currently nothing but... The good thing is this area... Always has trains at one point or another. Hey, Pyro, I thought you found another channel to watch. I haven't seen you in a while. It's a good place to lay off some fireworks up on top of the curve here. Right over the reservoir. Marty, all right, enjoy your day. Don't work too hard. So how's it looking so far? Are we still coming through pretty clear? Really busy at work. I guess a lot of backed up toilets. That time of year when people stay in and just keep eating. All right, awesome. I may ask occasionally, so don't mind me. Beautiful view from up here. It's lightly snowing now too. But here is the touristy area. It's a big grassy knoll up here, some benches, picnic tables. The funicular railway is closed. I still want to ride that, so I'll probably be back next year once it is open. But this is one of the only places, if you guys don't know much about it, just do a Google search, Horseshoe Curve, 
There's a lot of st uh, statistics about it. But basically, the train will come around there and over there. So you can stand where I'm standing and see both ends of the train at the same time. And there's three rails, which means up to three trains could come at once. And that happened to me when I was here in July. I caught three trains. They called it a Norfolk Southern Trifecta. It used to be four rails, but Conrail did rip out the fourth one. Yeah, Pyro, I'm pretty sure we are going to be able to make it over there. I'm not going to do that live. I am going to get over there later and shoot some video from that side, though. So this GP9, former Conrail unit, replaced 1361. This used to be up here. And this is what it is now. It's a Conrail unit painted in the Pennsylvania Railroad color. So, neat to see that. That's what made me fall in love with railroading Conrail. And I'm going to be picking up some merchandise down in the gift shop. They have Conrail shirts, hats, uh, little gift items, mugs, shot glasses. So I'm going to be making a few purchases before we leave. RJ is doing a video. This is his very first time here. So he'll have a video coming out in the near future. They removed the steamer, I if I'm not mistaken, I think they removed it to put it in a museum or maybe to bring it back under restoration. I'm not really sure about that. But if you search up PRR1361, there's probably some information about it. <clears throat> hey, Jamie, yes, we made it here. We have the whole place to ourselves. We're there only two up here on top of the world famous horseshoe curve. They have some little information boards too, just kind of giving you some information. Amtrak does run through here too. Twice a day, Amtrak does pass through the curve. That would be pretty awesome to be on an Amtrak coach and to be able to ride through the curve. Their webcam is not available, but your live stream is listed on the page. <laughs> okay. It was available this morning. I was watching it this morning. I do know it is controlled. There is like a, a group of like moderators or admins for the virtual rail fan page. Change direction to follow trains or look for trains. And it looks quite nice. We've got just a brief little dusting of snow up here. And there's something in that little shack right there. It looks like a, a rabbit. Thankfully, it's not windy. It's just a little breeze. So it's, despite, it's like 30, it's 31 degrees right now. But it feels warmer than it did the other days when it was really windy out. Over the hill and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. <laughs> Again, lots of information up here to learn what you're looking at. Jack Skellington lives in the shack. I guess you know from personal experience. I'm going to the other end of the property now, so hopefully the signal does stay intact. This even teaches you about fasteners of the track. Elastic. On the cam on rail fan. Awesome. Yeah, Jacqueline said the cam wasn't up. I, it's usually always up. I said I was losing connection, so I guess it's pretty bad connection in that corner. So I'm going to stay over here near the locomotive. They have it pointed right at me. They must be following me. I'm waving at it. Maybe you guys will see me.
two live streams up on Horseshoe Curve, my channel and Virtual Rail Fan. So if you guys already have a, uh, open up a second window or a second device, go to Virtual Rail Fan Horseshoe Curve. You probably see me right now standing in front of the camera. Yeah, B-Sage, we have a light dusting of snow up here. I jokingly said it was a uh, baby powder. So I'm waving to it. Hopefully somebody's watching. There's usually always a couple hundred people watching that <clears throat> horseshoe curve. That is me in the blue jacket. You guys see me? I'm waving. Wave back. <laughs> That's funny that they're pointing at me. Hey, the uh, webcam is following me. Virtual rail fan. We see you. Yes. Hi, guys. You see me standing there with the camera facing you. It's pretty funny. So I don't, I don't think it's motion activated. I think there's someone that can, there's definitely people that control it. I want to see, guys, let me know if it follows me over here toward the GP9. See who it follows now. Yeah. See if it follows me over here behind the train. They zoomed in on you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do a little tuck away behind the train here. Can't see me now. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yeah, one of my viewers used to be an admin for a virtual rail, rail fan. I know that there's a group of them that have access to webcams to change the orientation and stuff like that. All right, Christopher, have a good day. My nose is running like crazy. It's fun watching you on two live streams. Let's see. So did they follow me over to the train? Because they're coming back out now. <laughs> Somebody's watching me. Hello in Ontario. Well, the cool thing is once the train does come, you'll be able to see it on the webcam that you see me on. And you'll be able to see it on this one right here. I'm holding my hand. I turned it back. Okay. Yeah, they're going to keep... It is a train cam, so they should be watching for trains. Although I do stick out like a blue thumb in my blue jacket. Yeah, RJ is there doing a video. It's so over where he is. Signal's kind of spotty, so I'm going to stay away from that spot. I'll show you the funicular rail car if you guys want to see that. If I do sniffle, I do apologize. It's just the way it is. Cameron saw me. Yes. Good morning, Jeff. Yes. Horseshoe Curve, Altoona, Pennsylvania. Ryan said he asked them to find me. They did. So here is the funicular rail car. And if you guys don't know, this is a incline kind of tram service, which goes down there to the visitor center. That little split in the track is because when one comes down, there's another one down there that comes up and they pass each other at that passing. I've yet to ride in that. I really want to, but it is closed for the season for COVID. But rest assured, I will be back. We'll take a ride on that. I've seen other people. I think Bernie's rode, ridden in it, K-Flan. Back in July when I was here, trains were pretty active. I caught a few of them in uh, just a couple hours. I think I caught like five trains. But we did notice it is kind of hit and miss. There's times where we catch two, three trains within 20, 30 minutes, like yesterday we did, and times when there's big lulls in the action. But upon driving up to the Horseshoe Curve, we did see a train already making its way through. So at some point or another, it's just a waiting game. Hi, Trish. Hi, Christine. 
I'll give you a good view here. It's a beautiful view looking over the reservoir. Trains are in all the time. Don't know what's for lunch. We just had breakfast, so not hungry yet. Hi, Lisa. Very scenic. Yeah, it's great because there's no leaves on the trees, so you get to see a lot more. Looking down into downtown Altoona. Yep, we're already there, Pyro. Did a video there yesterday on the backside. Caught about five trains there within about an hour. It was incredible. Take the game lands trail right down to it. It's pretty easy to get to. Hey, Mary. Yeah, I was mistakenly calling it the Galatzen Tunnel. But I think it's um, Galitzen, if I'm correct. <clears throat> and there is a tunnel down there, which you could probably see a vehicle waiting. There's a red light on both sides. It's a one-lane tunnel, reportedly haunted. There's actually a few videos done about it. And some websites stating that there's some paranormal activity that often takes place in that tunnel. Hey, Lindsay. Yeah, views are incredible. It's very picturesque. And like I said, you got trains coming from both directions. There's, you know, the lines over there and over there. So whatever way it comes from, you get a, a good shot of it from the distance. Um, my pleasure, Trish. Yeah, I'm just a stone's throw away from the Scranton area. If you could throw that stone three hours away. You know, I'm actually going to pass you guys over to RJ for a moment or two because I need to blow the old schnoz, get some of the uh, boogies out. So instead of waiting there for me to do that, he could take you guys for a little walk. Stay don't go past this sidewalk. Go this way and over. Okay. It loses signal over there. Okay. Hey guys. How's everybody doing today? It's hard to hear it on the freaking left hand. What's that? I was hearing you blow my nose on the left hand. Oh, probably. <laughs> If anybody's watching the webcam, you might catch him uh, blowing his nose on there. <laughs> Hi, Renee. Oh, I can hear him from here. Rich Discoveries, what's up, brother? Making a dream come true here this morning. Awesome, Jamie, thank you. Oh, it's going good, Adam. Hi, B. Sage. How are you? Ryan K. Hello. Good morning. Oh, this is incredible. The views here are just amazing, especially that view right there. Hey, Dan. Long time no see. <laughs> Yes, that was fun in the pool. We had so much fun. We, I don't think I've ever heard him laugh so much. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing a little, little chilly, but not, not as bad as it's been the last two days. It was really windy the last couple of days. So today the wind has subsided, so it's just cold, but not extremely cold. We found something cool. Somebody's mask? No, it's a painted rock. It was hidden inside the gate. By oh. The yeah, this, I, there's a story behind these that if you find it, you're supposed to 
put it somewhere else for somebody else to find it. Rehide. Yeah. They did a good job on that. That's pretty neat. Yeah, that's that's really the swing. Yeah. On the big tree. Yep. Sun on one side, darkness on the other. So if you guys want to oh. go here. Thank you, Renee, for the $10 super chat for hot chocolate on her afterwards. Oh, thank you so much, Renee. <laughs> if you guys want to go here and post that you found it here at Horseshoe Curve, it was right in the fence of the GP9. There you go. And I'm going to rehide it somewhere. Okay. It'll stay up here, but it'll be in a different spot. But pretty cool. That is pretty cool. You know what caught my attention? The blue. The blue, of course. <laughs> You know, the orange would have caught my attention. <laughs> nope. Did we just hear a train, maybe? Nope. Maybe not. I heard something. Not sure what it was. Oh, definitely, Sandra. We have each other's backs. We definitely have so much fun when we're together. What's that? Found one. Oh, he found another one. Yeah, the place I went to post it at or laid at, there's another one there. Huh. There's a couple of them up here. There's, pro there's probably a bunch of them up here then. Maybe a group came through and. Yeah. Huh. A wild JP has appeared. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Still Halloween though. Yep, of course. That's pretty funny that they had me a webcam. <laughs> she said they were following me. Nice. Did he show you guys where it is? It's actually right there. It's over here to show up behind the tree. There, you can see it right there. So if they're watching us, we're watching them. Live, live on live. <laughs> if Dan's watching, I think he is. He needs he to is. call in another favor. Come on, Dan, Send the make trains. that phone call. We need some trains. I keep hearing something. Yeah, there's a, a machine that went up top of doing lumber work up there on top of the mountain. Oh, uh, okay. You hear like a saw almost. Yeah. All right, ready for the rains again? Thank I guess you. I gotta get me a gimbal now. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Better write your wish list to Santa. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I, I get the double header in December. I get the birthday and the Christmas. And <laughs> hey Mike, we were at the. Uh, Beginning and end. We were at the tunnels yesterday, Galitzin Tunnels. Got some amazing activity there. Also went to the brickyard, but nothing came there. But we started losing sunlight and the wind started picking up. It was brutally cold there, so didn't catch anything this time. And if you guys remember, the brickyard location is where I found that fire marshal bill guy spraying the fire extinguisher. That's the same location. All right, Dan, be looking for you. We got six the the um, parking lot's full, so. Try to find a parking spot. Not too many openings down there. All right, David, hope all is well. This is called Horseshoe Curve. It's in Altoona, Pennsylvania. It's basically a um, giant loop, not a loop, but a big horseshoe shaped curve to help the trains climb the mountain. And nearby is the Galitzin Tunnels. There's three tunnels, two of which are active. One is no longer in operation. Conrail closed it, which is another great location to catch some train activity. Hey, Karen. Yeah, it's super busy today. We felt like Clark Griswold coming to Wally World. First one's here. Yeah. If you guys are ever out near Western Pennsylvania, this is about an hour and a half from Pittsburgh, probably two hours from Ohio. I'd say um, 
an hour from Johnstown, about an hour away from Flight 93 Memorial Site in Somerset County. So it's kind of a, a generalized location. And those of you who are not familiar with the area, Altoona is also famous for Lake Mont Park. We drove through that park last night showing all the Christmas lights, but that park is famous because it has Leap the Dips, the world's oldest roller coaster. And I'm gonna be hosting a meetup event there late spring, early summer. So we can all meet there, hang out, do some of the cool rides, make some memories. Who is with you today? David, uh, RJ's with me. We came down here together. Uh, this is our fourth day here. And we've been having a great time. Weather-wise, it's not been the best, but everything else has been going according to plan. Bad thing, we gotta leave and go home. Shh. <laughs> Don't say such bad things. Yeah, he's right there. He's waiting for the train. He's got his ticket in hand. Count me in. Yes, I would love to have anyone willing to come out to uh, Lake Mont Park meetup. If you're not from the area, there's plenty of hotels in the area. The hotel that we stayed at, you will see in an upcoming video. I did like a little hotel room tour and a little walking tour around the neighborhood or city to show you what it's like. But right now, hotel prices are way down. To almost like a steal to get the room that we got for the price that we did. For those of us who don't know what you're doing, could you please explain? Well, we're just waiting for some trains to come. This is a three line main line for Norfolk Southern. And this is a world famous train spotting location and a uh, historical landmark as well. Typically you would find hundreds of people up here and trains come from both directions around both sides of the mountain. So although it's kind of boring at the moment, trains do indeed come. I caught three at once back in July. <coughs> Excuse me. Hope your meet happens without COVID. I hope so too. I was at Lake Mount Park back in July during COVID. Um, thankfully, you know, it was not busy. There was maybe a hundred people at the park total and masks were not required unless you were going indoors. So you were able to do the rides. They did sanitize them after each ride, which was good. They took the proper safety precautions. But they were open weekends during COVID. 18 bucks, you get a wristband, you could do all the rides, which is not a lot. They have two coasters, a kiddie coaster, go-karts, antique cars, a train ride, and one or two other kiddie rides, and then they have miniature golf and stuff like that. But it's all included for 18 bucks. And the paddle boats. Lake Monster Paddle Boats. So 18 bucks, you can't go wrong. Are they broadcasting the scanner? I haven't heard anything. I think that's off, but they do have the webcam going. People already saw me on the cam right there. EJ, I mean, yeah, I think Adam means RJ is filming for his channel. Yeah. Not watching for spirits, but trains, yes. Although there is a haunted tunnel down there. We're not doing anything paranormal wise. We're just waiting for some trains. Mega freight trains come through here. They have DPUs, distributed power units, and often pushers on the back. So you might see upwards of four, five, six locomotives per freight train, which are a couple miles long. They're much larger than the ones on the Northeast part of the state. So, I'll read some of the stats here for you if you guys want. It says Norfolk Southern SD40s usually come in pairs, often on both ends of long freight trains heading west to your left as you face the track in order to push or pull the trains uphill. Horseshoe curve measures 2,375 feet from beginning to end of its curvature, so about half a mile. Lower end of the curve is 1594 feet above sea level. Upper end is 1716 feet. So it climbs a little bit over 100 feet in elevation, 122 feet in elevation. Average grade is 91 feet per mile, 1.8%, or a 1.8 foot rise for every 100 feet of track. Curve opened February 15th, 1854. Two tracks were in operation by the end of the year. 1898, a third track was added. And in late 
1899 to early 1900, a fourth. So it was four rails. Conrail removed the second inside track in 1981 due to a decline in traffic. And there was actually a big derailment here a number of years ago. There was actually a um, rail car still laying up here from a derailment. It's actually still visible on Google Maps. Oh, well, Donna, uh, I wouldn't say you should feel jealous, but it works out for you guys because I could be selfish and just come here and enjoy it for myself, but I am very uh, share-worthy. That doesn't make sense. I'm very um, generous with sharing the locations with you guys. You know, I go live, I record videos to make you feel like you're there with me. Yeah, I'm hoping a train does come. I don't have any um, frequencies for the trains around here to listen on a scanner or on the app. This is the only place you've been that there's no QT sighting. Not the only, but one of the one of the few places that there's no markings. Oh, I hear horns. I think something's on its way. I did hear a horn. And for those of you watching, here I am. <laughs> I am bundled up. I got a uh, long sleeve shirt, short sleeve shirt, a black hoodie, and then this blue jacket over it, and my Friday 13th cap keeping my bald head nice and warm. Like I said, it's not windy, which is beautiful right now. I'm not cold at all. It's quite comfortable. But I do stand out like a sore thumb and like a blue smurf almost. My little Jason hat. <laughs> I'm gonna sit down for a moment. We'll see see if something is coming. I did hear a horn in the distance. Thank you. Yeah, I found this at uh, I think Fye a couple years ago. It's nice and warm. I'm gonna have my skull. Uh, which way I want to go? My skull uh, face covering. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm quite comfortable. Did you hear that horn? Fashion statement, yes, no rhyme or reason. It just all works. It all flows together. Yeah, he's going to be flying his drone later down from the parking lot. Um, but I am going to be doing some recorded footage from here as well. I'm not going to stream the entire time. We'll catch one or two trains coming through. Um, then we're going to go to a different part and I'm going to record some footage for an edited video, which will come out at a later time. Did you bring your drone today? I don't have a drone anymore. It's down in Florida. It flew south for the winter. Got a nice backdrop here too. Yeah, there's a number of locations to the train spot around here. I found some new ones like the Glitzen Tunnels, which is a pretty cool spot. Well, I can't search on the app right now because I'm using the phone right now. But I do have Norfolk Southern on the app, but it's the Sunbury Line, Northeast Extension. So I'd have to find out what is over here. But I really don't need to listen to the scanner. They're going to come one way or another. Just a waiting game. 20Q is east of Conway, a PA905 per the Facebook group, locomotives 4221, 1197, 1041. So yeah, we'll see if that comes by. Health department coming out saying a ticket for wearing no mask. I don't think they get tickets off for not wearing a mask, but are we going to catch COVID from that? <laughs> We're the only ones up here. We have the entire park up here to ourselves. And I'm wearing it. It's on my face. <laughs> Thanks, David. So I'm going to flip you guys around because my arm's getting sore. I'm going to prop you on the table here. We'll keep a nice view out to the reservoir and we'll wait and see what comes. There we go. So I can read your comments still. I'm still here. <clears throat> I 
How's weather where everyone else is? Is it, is it pretty cold and blustery and crappy? Zoomed in on the north side. Twenty six in mountain top. Ouch. It's actually warmer here. I think it's about thirty degrees. Lancaster slight winds. Cold and windy where Jamie is. Sun shining in Harrisburg, but cold. No sun here, just some flurries, but I'd say about a five mile per hour breeze. It's actually quite calm compared to what we've had earlier this week. Some of the footage you'll see in here, it's like we're inside of a tornado. <laughs> They're panning around. They're probably looking for me. I'm right here sitting on the bench in front of the GP9. Balmy 43 in Kentucky. That's bikini weather. <laughs> Lancaster 37. Yeah, I have to come to Kentucky Beach Sage, do another pool stream like RJ did. <laughs> Picture perfect view there. Yeah, it's not too shabby. The table I'm sitting at right now is the same one I sat at last time I was here. It was one of the only ones open. I kind of staked my ground and waited for the trains to come. Now we the whole place. Yeah, now we got the whole place to ourselves. We're going to have a rail fan party up here. The two of us in 144 of you. <laughs> Scotland, wet, wet, windy, and cold, that, and dark. You sure it's not like a UFO? Anything could happen. 73 in California, nice. 26 in Wilkesbury. I made mention the other day that. It almost seems like whenever the weather gets cold, it's always windy. Like without, without, without question, it's always windy. There's something coming. Yeah, I hear some diesel engines in the distance. Something is a coming. I'm trying to see which direction it's coming from. Rail fans zoomed in. Are they zoomed in over there or over there? L like right or left? So that's right side, left side. Tell me which direction they're zoomed in on. Yeah, the, the loudspeaker is not working right now. There's no announcements. I think it's coming to the left. I think it's climbing the curve. Left, yep, that's where I hear it from. Okay, so we got one coming on the left. I could hear it long before we could see it. Yeah, so right where we're pointed is gonna come there. I'm gonna wait for it to come around the, the bend there. We'll see some lights. I'm gonna actually position myself on the back side of the GP9 to have like a kind of nice revealing shot. Sixty three V. Oh, is that the garbage one? We saw that yesterday. It passed by us at the Glitton Tunnel. It stunk so bad. I said it smelled like sweaty sneakers. <laughs> it was bad. Yeah, so it's going to come by pretty slow, but the RPMs are going to be up pretty high because it's climbing a grade. Let I me mean, know if you guys can hear anything. I'm going to stay quiet for a moment. You can hear like a rumble in the distance.
Last time I was here, I was able to fly my drone and actually see it coming about a mile out. It was pretty neat. <clears throat> Got 133 people waiting for it. Trash train. I think it's headed towards Pittsburgh. Oh, see some lights. All right, I'm going to change positions. Yep, trash train. There's the back side, it's got two pusher units.
garbage. It's a garbage train. That was our first train here today, live at Horseshoe Curve. Not the best one, but definitely a smelly one. And someone mentioned, yes, they do have the pusher units to help with derailments. That way it's not so taxing around the curve. And a lot of them even have DPUs, a distributed power unit, which is a locomotive in the middle of the consist to help push pull the grade, so. Very long trains here. That was a garbage train. They transport garbage and it stinks. <laughs> Literally, it smells like a landfill. All right, Pyro, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, you could smell it, especially on a warmer day. It wasn't too bad this time, just a slight smell. But well, we caught it yesterday by the Glitzen Tunnel. It was loaded up. It stunk for about 10 minutes after it went by. So you guys got to see it here on my channel and on Virtual Rail Fan. I wish we had sunny skies, but at least it's not windy and not raining. Well, it's my pleasure. Glad to share some activity with you guys here. It's about 30 degrees right now. <clears throat> Can you show them the two giant Pac-Men in the parking lot? <laughs> <laughs> David, who said that? And RJ spotted Pac-Man in the parking lot. Do you guys see it? It's green. Right in the middle. There's two of them. <laughs> chomp, 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 chomp. Looks like they're about to attack each other. <laughs> Where's the garbage going? I think it's headed to Pittsburgh, if I'm not mistaken. 36A next. Do you know how far away, Christopher? How old are the trains there? Well, the Norfolk Southern units, a lot of them are former Conrail units. Some of them are brand new construction. So anywhere from just a couple years old to uh, a few decades old. People on Virtual Rail Fan page are loving you. <laughs> Jeez. I'm glad I'm on their good side. <laughs> they have a much larger channel than I do. They could, yeah, I'm just on the other side of the building here, so... All right, Matt, have a good one. So let me uh, flip you guys around. Do you guys want me to stay live to try to catch one more? I don't know how soon or how long it's going to be until one comes, but we are here. The whole reason of coming here is to catch trains. I do wish I was able to have them come on demand, but don't have the kind of pull in this part of the state. Like I said, I was here in July, caught three of them at one time, which was pretty incredible. I caught a total of five in about two hours. But if you guys are willing to watch or want to come back watch the replay. Oh, we have another one coming. I, maybe I do have some pool after all. Never mind, we are staying on here for one more. I'll be dipped. <laughs> yep, coming from the opposite direction now. I think that is west it's coming from. You see the lights through the trees there. So
See, we had a long wait for the first train, and now we have a second one within three, four minutes of the first one. I'm gonna do the whole air horn signal. Hope we get a train honk from them. This one's not gonna be as loud because they're actually coming down grade. So they're gonna be kind of using their motors to keep the train under control, under speed. Rich has got a computer under the hood while he's working. Nice train sounds in the background, right, Rich? So I got three lead units. This is a mixed con consist. Tankers, boxcars. Last time all I saw was intermodal. Let me get a better visual here. Speed limit, um, I think it's probably 25 max. They go slow for a reason. Not only because of the weight, but the grade to avoid derailment. I'm doing the train honking, come on, let's get a honk. Honk, come on. No honking, ah, buggers. You can see both sides coming and going. It's pretty incredible. Oh, what do you see what's coming? You guys are gonna love this. That's the... Don't complain, nitpicker. <laughs> Look at this. Farm equipment. Front end loaders. I'll take the blue one. Yeah, I'll take blue too. We'll share. <laughs> Pretty cool to see that. Yeah, in the straight main lines, I'm sure they do 30 miles per hour, but here they're doing maybe, yeah, D DPU. Another one coming. It's like, oh no. That's the DPU. Okay. Yeah, here they're doing maybe 20 miles an hour. So this is a long train. Over there is a DPU, distributed power unit. So it's one locomotive in the middle of the consist to help push and pull, and most likely pushes on the end. So that's so far the fourth locomotive. This is a nice one, all kinds of freight cars. Big slow. 
Bye, Sandra. Looks like RJ's in heaven here. You can see the size of these cars too. Union Pacific. They're almost like cattle cars. CSX. BNSF. All kind of freight. Yeah, me too, Jamie. I like the mixed ones. Yeah, you can feel it, B-Sage. The ground is vibrating. Car carriers, okay. Didn't know that. I know most of the other ones. Got lumber cars here. I see a lot of those by me. Coal cars, which are carrying, look like scrap metal. And here comes the DPU, number 4700. No, 4070. Distributed power unit. And this train is still coming. Check it out. Still coming around the curve. Yeah. Looks like that one had a fire on it one time. See the rusty spot. There's no end in sight. This is a couple miles long, this freight train. Probably twice the length of the garbage train. It's a perfect shot right here to see both ends of it. Hope you guys are enjoying the footage. Oh, well over 500 cars. I say over a thousand cars. Without a doubt, this train's over two miles long. It's got a little bit of everything, minus the caboose. Bunch of car carriers coming around now. I'm actually getting chills. This is like so exciting. I'm loving it. This is up there as one of the longer ones I've ever witnessed in person. Mega freight train. This is going to be going under my Let's Catch a Train playlist because. We caught one heck of a train, so on the replay, it'll be listed there. <laughs> I see you waving. 12,000 feet, yep, over two miles long. Only 174 cars? Seems like it's more than that. But thanks for the stats. I need a calculator to count this many. Not enough fingers. I'm not good with number of cars, but I am good with lanes. So I said over two miles, 12,000 feet. It's definitely over two miles. Look at all these car carriers. Dozens of them. Okay, here comes the car carriers. The next probably 20 cars here are all car carriers. Wonder what kind of cars are on there. Maseratis, BMWs. Maybe some Fords. Those are like little garage doors, bay doors it looks like. Okay, the end is finally coming. We've got two more pusher units. 
six locomotives on this train. Sorry if I'm shouting, it's really loud. I'm waving to the rail fan camera. Yeah, when this goes past the crossing, you're gonna be sitting there for a good amount of time. <laughs> Jamie will take a Tundra. I'll take an F-150 or a new Escape. You see me waving. Yeah, sounds like it. All right, here comes the two pusher units. 72.43 and 72.45. The end is here. Awesome. Got a wave from the engineer in the back. They're pretty much coasting. They're kind of holding the train back, keeping it under speed. That was incredible. Yeah, it had a DPU, so three leads, a DPU, and two pushers. So six locomotives on that train over two miles in length. Incredible. That's what you call a long mega freight train. That was worth the wait. I give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I hope you do too. I know if the camera's still over here, but virtual rail fan guys, thanks for uh, sharing and watching. Hope you enjoy the commentary and the footage. We're gonna stay live for a little bit more. We'll see if anything else does come because maybe there'll be a trifecta. If not, we'll be ending on a high note. Amtrak won't be there until after 5, or you're still in the area tomorrow. The Amtrak usually comes through twice a day. I did catch it. We caught it yesterday morning, and the day before we caught it in the evening. I would love to see Amtrak come through here, but we won't be here after 5 o'clock. That will make VRF Virtual Rail Fans grab bag. All right, those of you who are taking off, thank you. Have a good day. So let's... um. Give a quick interview with Mr. RJ78 Productions, winning his first mega train at Horseshoe Curve. I'm just pulled up virtual rail fan. Dying people want to know, what are your thoughts? Um, of the location worst, and the trains. Worst experience in my life. All right. You heard it here. <laughs> oh. I'm on the spot again. On the spot. All right. Um, Definitely, this has been a dream of mine. I've been wanting to come out here for quite a while, and to be here is amazing. Just incredible, and here comes another one. There's another train coming. Oh, my God. Yep. We're off the spot. Go after that. <laughs> Got another train. <laughs> okay, guys, this is our trifecta. Here's the third train. Holy crap. Talk about timing. Whoever called in these favors, thank you. <laughs> See you, Adam. Yeah, of course I'm excited. Okay, two lead units. This one's probably not as long, but a mixed consist. Just film your train. <laughs> I'm not, that's virtual rail fan. I'm watching it live, live, live. <laughs>
Yeah, jackpot indeed. This worked out perfectly. Keep your eyes peeled for a hobo or a caboose. Net official coming from east or west. This one is heavy on the tanker cars. Dozens of them. That's loud. Wow, that's a lot of tanker cars. That squeal is inevitable. It's going around a pretty sharp curve. Yeah, a 360 cam would be good. 65R ethanol unit train with a headed freight pickup in Altoona. So that should be coming from the from the west, I believe. Oh, we got somebody else coming up here. Is that Dan? This is an absurd amount of tanker cars. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, this one's not as long. We got two more pusher units on the end. This one had a total of four locomotives.
So another mixed freight, no DPU. That one's probably just over a mile in length. But two pullers, two pushers, four locomotives. Can't beat that. Another one right behind this one. They said there's another one coming too. Yeah, westbound coming. Coming westbound, so it should be coming from this direction. Hey, you see who's over there? I think so. Yep, it's him. Like I said, I saw step one here. Did you? I didn't know what hit. I saw him over there grabbing the bags. He was over here. Now, when the timing works out right, you know, we got three trains here. Sometimes you get three all at once passing right next to each other. So, oh, yep, here comes the other one. Oh, it's coming over there. What? I thought that was east. That must be west. Maybe I had it mistaken. Here's our fourth train. That one's just leaving the curve. This one's just entering. Man, this is like perfect timing. You guys are really tuned in at the right time, I'll tell you that, and the right channel. Let's see, we're gonna quiz you guys really quick. Do you think this is gonna have a DPU? A distributed power unit? And do you think it's gonna have pushers in the back? I think yes to both. That's my assumption. This one looks like it's intermodal, all containers. Pushers, probably no DPU. We'll find out. Uphill is heading west, so it's going west. So it's coming from the east. Okay, so I was right then. Yes, yes! there got my horn I was honking I was going come on honk that horn yeah, this is what is known as the intermodal train these are all containers that get put on ships and flatbeds for 18 wheelers to go to their destinations got some reefer units here those are refrigerated units Double stacked containers, pretty neat, all different colors. Oh yeah, I'm extremely happy. I'm just even more thrilled to be able to share it with you guys. That horn made my day. And you'll see in some upcoming videos that we filmed yesterday, the one train that came by, it gave us a really great horn little song and dance. You'll see what I'm talking about when that comes out. So, the lead units are making the way right around the curve over there. So far, no DPU but we'll keep our eyes peeled. One thing I pointed out too, which it may be hard to pick up on camera, these flat cars are not individual cars. These are actually interconnected. It's almost like three or four cars per connection. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Those are five cars all interconnected. 
then it's connected with a knuckle to the next one. So these are interconnected cars with like axles or pivot points. Those are not individual cars. It's pretty neat to see them. No DPU yet. It's, yeah, D for David, distributed power unit. This one's much quieter than the other one though, I'll tell you that. Yeah, kind of like Legos. It's almost like um, like a tram car. You know, if you take a tram tour, how each of those cars are connected by like a, a hitch almost. It's kind of like that. Oh, okay, we got pushers, no DPU. So whoever guessed that, you are correct. We are in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Horseshoe Curve. This is our fourth train in the last number of minutes. Winner, winner. Turkey dinner. <laughs> These ones are pretty clean. What's this? Uh, 7230, 7241. Pushing from behind. High RPMs. Now we saw four trains here. Just imagine if we caught a couple of them at the same time, it would be even better. But this has by far been an incredible live stream to catch, your, to catch four trains here and to be the only people up here except for Dan who joined us. Dan was one of my viewers. He came last night on our drive stream. But this has been amazing. What a way to end this trip. Look at the colors too. They look so neat. The contrast from the gray sky, the brown trees. It's so colorful. I've been there a couple days ago, Juniata Yard. We got a um, Wabash unit turning on the turntable there. We still hear it rumble in the air. Yeah, we had a long delay, but once the trains came, they came in full force. It was well worth the wait. And I'm going to put a timestamp down below as a pinned comment and in the description when the first train does come. That way, when you watch the replay, you don't have to sit there and wait for it to come. You can just jump right to the action. Everyone, I am going to wrap it up here though. We caught four trains. I think that's more than enough for one live stream. A big special thanks to all of you who did tune in for this. I know it's kind of early morning, late, late morning, early afternoon stream. Uh, it was also cool to hear that I was on the virtual rail fan cam. So if you did watch me there, thanks for watching as well. I'll be hoping to catch myself on there on the replay, be able to scroll back on the timeline. But don't forget, RJ is filming for his channel. You'll be able to catch in a, a shorter time frame what I caught as well. Super chat from Sammy's Hearts Goodwin. Thank you so much, Sammy. And rest assured, a lot more train videos coming out. Around the fall winter time is when I generally do ramp up more train material. Not a whole lot going on for amusement parks, for going swimming, stuff like that. So train activity, I filmed about six or seven videos so far. I'm gonna be filming more after this. So that's why we're wrapping things up. We got more to do, more to film before we head back home. Uh, tonight, though, I do have a new video coming out. It's going to be Christmas-related to get you in the holiday spirit. That's coming out at 8 p.m. And um, after that, we'll find out together. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. If you're outside, try to stay warm. If you're inside, enjoy the heat. And if you got nothing to do later, catch the replay. We'll do this all over again. So, And uh, thanks to RJ for joining me as well. Here he comes. Skip to the lobby. Lou, my darling. What am I missing over here?
just saying goodbye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, have a great day. And as always, I'll see all of you, 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 and you in the next video.